Now you're going to have different rules for who's climbing what. I I think it'll force it'll force you to take pause. Well, here's an argument in for in, 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 in like supporting what you're saying. Look at what's going on with the Himalayas. I mean, it's the human shit that they ha they leave behind there. It's All the climbers. So disturbing. Yeah. The climbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's horrible. It's yeah. really horrible. Yeah. I mean, they there's tons of it. Tons of human waste. Okay, so what you do there is, if it's still not a problem that people are climbing, it's that they're leaving waste, you don't stop the climbers, you tax them at some level, so that now you have cleanup crews that come up after them. Yeah, but it's there's incredibly solution, di but there's but solutions. You know, it's incredibly no, look, difficult dude, to bring dude, anything back. Good. So? They're d they're, you, you're almost, you tax them, you make it worth it. All right? Right. But so, you understand, like, they, what, what, they have to leave the bodies up there, right? You know that. They can't I, that's bring what I heard. Back. That's yes. what I heard. Well, why do you think they could bring tons of shit when they can't even bring bodies Here's back? Here's what I'm saying. When they invented cars... And cars were killing people in the street because people didn't know how to cross the street. They didn't know where to cross the street. People don't know how to stop the cars. They say, well, cars are actually a pretty useful thing. Do we ban cars? No. We make stoplights. Oh, people are crossing. Well, we make crosswalks. Oh, let's put lanes so the cars don't hit each other. And, and let's make airbags so that you don't fly through the windshield. All right. So there are ways around problems if you value the thing that it is that you want to do. So if people are leaving crap up there, you make them bring it back or you develop a system that enables the stuff to come back no matter what. And if you can't do that and you don't want it messed up, then cancel the whole operation. We didn't cancel cars. We got really innovative about I how to keep them. I think there's a big difference between cars and human shit that's left <laughs> in the side of the mountain. <laughs> I think the real problem, too, is I think it's If you value busy. mountain climbing and you want to keep doing it, then you f solve the problem. This is what engineers do. That's all they do. Right, but you is know, what's they, your problem? I'll solve it. They've never been able to bring those bodies back because of the physical limitations of the human body. It's barely, you barely have enough juice to climb. It's so thin. The air is so thin. It's so dangerous. And the energy draw on you is so, so they high. leave those bodies there. So is what? that the human shit that you're talking about, or is that no? There's no. That you're talking about the shit. fact that humans were there that we got we we we're not very clean about our presence. That's what you're talking about, right? Well, we're just being human. We have to go. When you got to go, you got to go. When you got to go up there, you just open up the hatch and let it rip down the side of a mountain, and the resulting. Do you know in the space station they recycle your urine and your and your crap? Congratulations to them. <laughs> Because they had put engineers on the problem. Right. They re what I mean by cycle it, they extract all the water from it. And then what's left is highly dried and, and you drink mineral. It? Yeah, they dr oh, yeah, water is water. It's a Wee. water molecule. That's the thing about By the way, water. by the way, every glass of water, you see this? people's pee is in it. That's correct. Yes. Uh, you got a, bo a, a bottle of water here? Caveman pee. Okay. This has. Napoleon's pee in it. Yes. Yes. There are more yeah. molecules of water in this bottle than there are bottles of water this volume of water in all the world's oceans. So in other words, if you drank this and peed it out, okay, you have enough molecules in your pee and in your sweat and, the, and in the, the moisture that you exhale. All that goes back into the environment, scattering into all sources of water of the world, and there's enough of those molecules to occupy every half liter of water that, fit, that covers the surface of this earth. So that given enough time, you scoop a cup of water out of there. I don't even care if you filter it. The H2O is still there. That is water that is passed through the kidneys of Abraham Lincoln. Mm. Genghis Khan. Mm. Joan of Arc. Mm. Socrates. Plato. No. Jesus? Can I get a bottle of Jesus? I'm trying tea? to get my, my Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure list going here, okay? <laughs> you just ruined it. Sorry. But yes, Jesus would be included in that. So would uh, Socrates, yes. So that is the, uh, sa by the way, the same is true with breaths of air. There are more molecules of air in every breath you take than there are breaths of air in all the atmosphere of the earth. So mm -hmm. when you exhale, there's enough of those molecules to scatter and the, 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 the air currents will do this, to scatter into every breath of air that is inhaled. So when you take a breath of air, you have molecules of air that went through the lungs of Jesus. Oh. We're all connected, and there's no way around it. And the water that we have is the water that we have, right? We drink it, we pee it, yeah. it goes to the atmosphere, yeah. it comes down as rain. Yeah, and the rain is, is the 
an important difference is a lot. Most of the water on Earth is salt water that you can't drink, right. and there's a limited amount that's fresh water. How much of a by the way, all the glaciers society. are fresh water because that's it's frozen rain, right? Frozen rain. Here's something that no one talks about: when the glaciers melt, where does the water go? Where does it go? Just tell me. You know the answer. Just into the ocean. Back in the ocean. Okay. So, but this is now non-salty water going into the ocean. So you're mixing fresh water with brackish water. And they occupy different places in the vertical profile of the ocean. And because salt water is heavier than fresh water. So fresh water occupies the top. Right. But it's not as salty as the water at the below. And there are circulations in the ocean, not only up and down, you know, northern latitude, southern latitude, like the Gulf Stream. There's also circulation top to bottom. And the combinations of all these circulations create the stability of the ocean. If you disrupt that, oh my gosh, there are animal fishes that can't live anymore where they used to be because the salt level is different. And so some animals might go extinct. Some weather patterns will change because the ocean affects climate. So these are, this is why climate modeling is so critical yet so complicated. This is because there are a lot of variables that show up. Why can't we take the salt out of the water? You can. It just takes energy. You but can do why, it. But why isn't that been being done on you can. large you have to scale? Ask, you, 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 who's paying for the energy? Where are you getting the energy from? It's an energy thing. But I would think that would be very valuable. I mean, think about how many people it's buy It's not valuable enough yet. That's the point. Well, is it that? It's, it's, pure, it's just, it just, it's just money. It's a, Dude, it's just money. You can ask, what does it cost to ship a, bo- a, 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 a half pint of water from Fiji Okay, whatever hell is the square bottle that you buy in a, Fiji water. Is it mm-hmm. Fiji, right? Yeah. Fiji water. What does it cost to, to bottle that in Fiji, ship it here, relative to desalinating the ocean? It's cheaper to ship <laughs> by to Fiji. There'll be a day when that's not the case. And future wars are going to be fought over who has access to fresh water. And the value of water will go up. And by the way, the value of water in space is... Ten thousand dollars a pound. So if you if you lasso a comet, and you say this is a lot of fresh water, uh, yeah, you could. I guess you can bring it back down to Earth, but that's expensive. You're better off selling it to NASA for nine thousand dollars a pound, because it costs them ten thousand dollars a pound to put water into orbit. So you're better off keeping it up there and somehow or another. Yeah. So if you if you it. harness water in space, you're better off trading in space with it than bringing it back down to a planetary surface at the moment the what economics the, favor that what is the desalination process so it's it's simple you just evaporate the water it's it's basically a still it's 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 right. it's, it's, it's a it's a distillery right so here's here's a, a pocket of water with that's highly salty and you just heat it the h2o evaporates leaving sodium chloride behind and at the end, you get this salt deposit at the bottom of your dish, at the bottom of your vessel. Oh, wait a minute. What happens to lakes that used to be there, that, salty lakes that used to be there that aren't? There's a salt deposit. That's the source of our modern-day salt. This is what I tweeted the other day, that all table salt is, is um, uh, all table salt is sea salt. It just came from long-buried um, prehistoric evaporated seas so salt mines and, and I was I was told by some geologists I, 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 had, I had had a narrow un, a narrow usage of the word mine when I think of a mine I think of a hole in the ground mm-hmm. but mining operations include surface operations as well so there's surface lakes that have that have evaporated and you get salt from that as well as the mines that you would dig down deep below so that whole all of that is a mining operation my tweet only reference the buried ones but the, it's all but it's all from evaporated waters it's all from evaporated it's all sea salt is the point now nuclear power plants rely on steam right isn't that part oh, of wait, what wait, nuclear wait, power but just finish, do? just just to finish the point so you evaporate the water and the salt left maybe you might want to use that and make some sea salt out of it table salt um, and that evaporated water condenses out over here and that is distilled water Right. Now, you might want to mineralize it so it tastes good because distilled water doesn't taste good. Plus, it's not really healthy to drink it, as you probably know. Mm-hmm. You drink distilled water, it goes into equilibrium with your minerals, sucking minerals out of you so it has the same minerality that your body does. And then you pee it out and you'll systematically drain yourself of important 
electrolytes. Yeah. So uh, generally, the water that you would say tastes good and you enjoy has some mineral um, uh, bits, some 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 kind of mineral um, minerals in it. That's all. Now, nuclear power plants don't mm-hmm. they? The process is using that nuclear energy to create steam to operate turbines and. Yeah, basically, all of our electricity today comes from. Uh, essentially, the, the, most of the electricity is coming from turbines that convert steam to electricity. So, so sorry. So, uh, you heat water, the water makes steam, the steam turns the turbine, and the turning turbine generates the electricity. Isn't there? So, so, so you, it's it's a matter of where do you get the energy to boil the water. That's what it comes down. Is it coal? Is it oil? Is it is it nukes? Is it wind? Is it hydro? All of this. If you, you get a hydro plant. Uh, oh, by the way, in a hydro plant, they don't have to make steam because they have the water, the water pressure at the base of the dam moves through the turbines and it turns the turbines and they make electricity. So you don't mm. have to heat anything. 